Hey guys, uh, have you ever wondered that when somebody is hyperventilating uh, or having a panic attack, they hyperventilate? Um, the reason why is that when we are having a panic attack, we're experiencing a lot of stress. We, we are panicking and the nature of our sympathetic uh, nervous system is, is to get ready for fight or, or flight, right? We're getting ready to exercise. Um, but meanwhile, people who are generally having panic attacks, they're standing still, they're, they feel trapped. Uh, and they start hyperventilating, preparing for this, and they can't actually exercise. They never utilize that sympathetic energy. And when this happens, our body gets tense, and, and it, it, our, we start constricting, and that is because we are blowing off our CO2. We're <sighs> when we exhale, we're blowing off all of our CO2. And the CO2 is absolutely necessary in the body. CO2 is a powerful vasodilator. It opens up our veins for our hearts to work easier. For We start breathing slower and our veins open up. We relax and our heart relaxes. Our whole nervous system relaxes. So CO2 relaxes the nervous system. And people who are hyperventilating, having a panic attack, they're often told to breathe into the brown paper bag so they can breathe back in their CO2 that they exhaled. And, and this is, um, I mean, it works. It works really, really well. But there are also a lot of people who are chronically hyperventilating. They might not be having a panic attack, but they are, throughout the day, they're experiencing these levels of stress from, we've all, we all have it, uh, and they don't exercise. Uh, so they are building up their, uh, well, they're getting rid of their CO2. And, and so when we chronically do this, it typically goes un unknown. We don't really pay attention because we're not breathing consciously. And so I, you know, I try and teach people and help people uh, do conscious breathing and start breathing slower. You know, just by breathing slower, you don't need a, a brown paper bag. You will start building up your, your CO2 levels again and coming to an, a normal relaxed level. Um, and this is really the basis of pranayama. Pranayama, the breath control practices of yoga, is, is about slowing down the breath um, and doing it consciously. And when you do this, you really, uh, when you breathe consciously, you're, you become more conscious of all the processes in the body, of, 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 what, um, of where stress comes from, what is causing you stress, and what causes you relaxation. And so it, it's through the breath that we connect with the body, we connect with, with the stress and relaxation, and we, we recognize what we want more of and how to get it, what causes relaxation and those good feelings in the body. Um, and the breath is absolutely key. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening.